Robbie Wong here playing for that sweet, sweet Diamond One free loss. We've got Muxus Goblins again, best of three. We're going to play this until we lose. <laughs> it's, it's just going so well. I, I don't even know what to say. I feel like there was a time period where people were really sideboarding against this. And now it's, I have, I don't see as many Grafdiggers cages and Hushbringers. Ooh, oh wait, no, that's next turn. It's a Goblin off. F five can do two and two. Or four can do two and two. This is a little less aggressive right now. <clears throat> I didn't think they'd take it. Okay, so we, we can't quite do that. So we'll, we'll war chief unless there's a goblin on top of the deck. <clears throat> We want them to get Skirt Prospector because that means they're, they're missing two pieces instead of one. Opponent gets Franco. Well, speaking of Franco, so we're going to be able to War Chief. Chieftain Cranko swing with the crew. Ooh. <laughs> Gem Palm Incinerator counts everybody. Okay. Well, the good news is okay, so we have five mana, so we can three and two swing for a lot. I mean they're still missing the, the haste guy, so we're This doesn't take advantage of this conspicuous snoot, but oh, uh, right. This has the abilities of, so I could blow up. That's eh, not. So if they get Cranko, oh no, just War Chief. Hoping they don't have that. So if we chieftain and swing in with everything, they have to grind out lords for lords and then if they don't it's three six nine twelve so they have to block and then if they have three threes we're, we'll happily trade especially if we do this first So we can skirt prospector and then sack the matron and the snoot to put All right, swing with the crew. I don't know if that's lethal, but they have to block something, so let's just grind them out. Mirror breaker! Woo! Okay. One of these, or one of these, and 
few more of these. Got the other two and conspicuous. <laughs> All right. Trying to chain whirler before they get anything else out there. It's not very combo oriented, but it is aggressive. So we'll instigator into chieftain. No, we're going to wily into chieftain. Unless we draw a land. If we draw a land, then we're going to instigate it. Okay. So this into Wily, so we can guarantee Chieftain and get the beats going. Matron gets Skirt Prospector. Muxus. I think I trade because if they go land script prospector, oh, we drew the other land. So we Well, we can shoot something. So we can shoot the Haste Lord to keep Muxus' home. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and respond by shooting this. If they if they can't attack and they can't cranko, then then it's it stops right there. Yeah. Okay. So unfortunately, we don't really have a good like we can gem palm the muxis. One two three four five six. They're gonna just matron for another muxis. So then, do we shoot something else? We're gonna take a beating. So they're going to just cast Muxus, and then it'll be our job to shoot, run this back. We're on, definitely on the back foot, so we're, we're, we're digging uphill. Smart. No haste. Matron. Well, they, they have to pick both matrons before they find out we have a script prospector. So they'll they'll script prospector, we'll shoot it, and then they can float mana, I think. So if this is the case, we let them sack and muxus and then we aim the gem palm at the next haste. Um, weird. Our, we we win by comboing. I'm not sure how we're gonna do that, but here we are. Um, they have Muxus into Muxus. That's not frightening at all. Does that do anything? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so here comes here comes castle muxus and then if there's another haste lord it's bad news but i mean they've they've missed so many haste lords i well, okay you know some sometimes you just sometimes you just don't hit it yeah this is first strike buddy 
We can survive that. So they're going to mux us again, right? So we're going to uh, Wily Goblin, hold up Incinerator, and just pray again. Yeah. No attacks. We should be dead. <laughs> uh, well, no Muxus. Chieftain. Uh, I think we need to blow up Muxus. And then we, we might be dead. Oh wait, the play to win line was not bad. Four, eight, yeah. So if we wanted to survive another turn, I, I don't think it mattered, but we should have shot the Chieftain. No, we're still dead. Okay, so it didn't matter. Game three, here we go. Well, it's interactive. We can matron for whatever we don't get. And if we don't get anything. I was reading earlier today, trying to hide your skirt prospectors is valuable. Matron, let's fetch skirt prospector. One, two, three, four, five. You know, let's just get muxes. They can chain whirler us and make us really sad. No, they still have they still have the treasure, they still can. Again, sadness. Okay, and we cannot <laughs> incinerator because there's only two goblins. Okay, so let's let's hope they play some more to the board <laughs> so we can fry something before combat. Opponent not falling for it, opponent not falling for it. Ugly. Matron resolve. Matron gets chieftain from opponents, skirt prospector, okay. So we're going to cycle, shoot this, try and get another land. <sighs> okay. All right, so we're here, we're here. We're going to get Skirt Prospector. And then we hold it up for next turn. If we play it, it's exposed to removal, but then we can still. So we need the extra land for Muxus next turn. Okay. Gonna expose it to another chain roller. So hopefully we see opponent play Skirt Prospector and then try and muxus their, uh, do a muxus of their own. Or they're going to try and remove our Skirt Prospector and then we're going to try and hope to peel a, a, a land. It's a race, it's a race. Skirt Prospector resolves. The 
of follow-up play. They have uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. They only have five bangers, so they can't mux us. They can crank us, they can war chieftain us. Kind of okay with whatever. If they don't play anything scary, I'm not going to sack Matron to gem palm something. So we're going to sacrifice. So, so. Submit that. Cycle. It's a massacre. All these poor skirt plot prospectors just getting blown out of the out of the tunnels. Ah, uh, we hit it anyways. <laughs> and we have a follow-up, Muxus. Come on, big money, big money, big money. Okay. You know, like you do. I want a Skirt Prospector. Okay, so do I play it out? Is there any reason to? So opponent is sort of in the same position we were, uh, missing land drops, and they're they're not able to play out their hand. We have removal spell, one two three four five. They're still they're still one mana short from Muxus, so chain whirler's pretty good. Chain Whirler's pretty good, but so is a another Muxus. Is there, is, is there, okay, so if I play this out and then sacrifice the Muxus, that lets me get it into play, and they only have black mana up? Yeah. We were going to lose that Muxus anyways, and we want to skirt Prospector anyways. Holy moly. That's what you want to see. So we're going to get another Muxus. Opponent is free to quit whenever they want. We play Cranko. This deck is so silly. We activate this ability. Yeah. So you, you, you can activate this, make eight goblins and then use that to pay for the next muxus which is probably going to get you more goblins and then you just you just overwhelm them from whatever life total opponents at we did it diamond tier one so exciting i'm robbie wong make sure to like share and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one